So let's talk about your movie. So you're the star of the year in Morin. How did you come across that, that script and how do you like it? It was a project that came to me that I, when I read it, I was like, yeah, great. I would love to do this because it was like a piece of poetry on, on paper in the sense that there was, first of all, no dialogue. It was just a description. It was 120 pages of description of a man going through this very, very difficult time where he decides to, in a sense, put himself in jail uh, on, in a harbor. So this movie is a movie about inner transformation, isn't it? Or? Well, uh, the movie's about um, uh, a young man who comes to a harbor, opens the gate, walks down, buys a dilapidated sailboat, gets on the sailboat and starts to fix it up over the course of a year. And he's observed by the waitress who works at the restaurant at the harbor and the ancient mariner who's the sail maker uh, at the harbor. And they realize that this young man played by Josh Lucas has been through some trauma and has exiled himself in the harbor. In the middle of winter, in the middle of one of the most in intensely frozen parts of America. And the winter comes and the weather comes and he's the only guy out there. And they watch this guy. And he slowly starts to get a handle on the sailboat and refurbish it and fix it up. And uh, they never ask him what happened to him. But through the flashbacks, we start to see what happened to him. And um, it's a really moving story. Well, are you one of those um, actors that always stays in character? Did you sleep on the boat the, the whole time? or? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been hard. Huh? No, but yes. I mean, yes in the sense of, uh, look, this is a movie that like the entire crew and everyone involved kind of worked 24 hours a day. It was, it was just, it just, that's what it took to shoot it this fast and to make it look like it took place over a year when in reality it took place over 18 days. Um, but uh, the boat was uh, cold and miserable. <laughs> so I actually stayed in a bed and breakfast next to the boat. <laughs> Which was, uh, it was warm at least. It was nice actually. Very nice. I, I, spoil, I spoiled myself. I claim to be a method actor who stayed in a bed and breakfast next to the boat. <laughs> so it seems like you're very proud of this movie. I, I am proud of this movie. I'm partly part of the reason why, and I'll, I'll be honest with you. Look, this movie's not everybody's cup of tea, but the, there are people who like this movie in a in a passionate way, and people who are not involved in it as well, reviewers and different people, and. and I think one of the things I'm learning more and more and more is that it's okay to have different, not only different points of view, but like to, many people who've seen this movie say like, I loved it. And some people who saw this movie say, I didn't love it, but I respect it. And that's like partly what our job is in a way, is to make something where it's not, it's not dismissible. Josh was really amazing in the movie. He gave himself, uh, you know, in the weather and, uh, great performance with you know empathy and compassion and he really dug deep so you know we're really proud of uh, a year of mooring and i'm proud of it awesome. i'm proud of what we all did this little crew of people who worked on um, worked passionately 24 hours a day well the script i um i had a movie called edge of america that i made it for showtime and i was playing that movie up in uh, oregon and uh after the screening a tall guy six foot five gentleman comes up to me and he says I have a script for you and I thought oh great you know <laughs> yeah what am I going to do with a script you know uh, and I asked him politely if he'd send it to my agent and I figured you know probably not but I gave him the information and uh, his name was Pete Vanderwall he sent the screenplay to my agent and even more ironically my agent read it <laughs> Which is a you know good agent, and uh, she called me up and she said, "Have you read a year in Mooring?" And I said, "What's that?" And she says, "You met a guy in Oregon, and uh, he gave you, or he wanted to give you a screenplay." And she said, "And I read it, and it's really amazing." And I said, "Really?" 
And so she sent it to me. I read it. I said, wow, this is really, really good. And uh, Sally Jo Effenson, the producer, who's been a friend of mine for years, um, she was saying, do you have any screenplays that I should look at? And I said, I have this one that I've been thinking about. Would you look at it? I sent it to Sally Jo, and uh, that was probably just two and a half years ago, so pretty quick. And she saw it the movie she got the movie and uh she put it together quickly so it was like a blessing for everybody so you know we we kind of support the young artists here in in town do you have any suggestions for people that would like to kind of break into this industry or as a director or yeah my advice i mean i i talk to young native uh american you know filmmakers all the time and my advice is just to do it you know you know, whether you're making a five-minute short or a half-hour documentary or a feature, I mean, basically, you just got to go do it. You know, when I was young, grr, I, uh, yeah, I, I remember being on an airplane, and a woman next to me said, what do you do? I was, you know, 17 years old or so, and I said, I direct movies. And she said, oh, really? Uh, what have you directed? And I said, well, nothing yet. And the point is, is that, you know, you have to say it, you have to say it and you have to, no matter what you're making, you know, you make a five minute piece of work or a 10 minute piece of work, as long as you're doing something, you'll, you'll make whatever you want, you know.